Time now for Eyewitness News, call 12 for action. A day after the launch of Rhode Island's $364 million integrated benefits eligibility system, customers are reporting some problems. Now, about an hour ago, a spokesperson for the Office of Health and Human Services confirmed there is an ongoing issue with printing and distributing EBT cards. Eyewitness News consumer reporter Susan Campbell was at one of the field offices today and spoke with customers. Susan? Kelly and my customers tell me they're frustrated. They say lines are long and benefits are harder to get. A spokesperson for the Office of Health and Human Services tells me the agency takes those concerns very seriously. She added there are teams in place trying to address those issues as soon as they happen. Christine Johnson showed up at the DHS office in Providence to get her replacement EBT card. It's just, it's honestly a zoo now. She says she left empty handed. Instead of getting your food today, which they used to just load a card and put your money on it, instead of that, they're having you fill out a form and telling you the card will be in within seven to 10 days. It's an absolute struggle. Something that used to be easy is now extremely difficult. The state's new integrated benefits eligibility system launched Tuesday, replacing a 30-year-old computer program. State officials say the new system will make it easier for people to apply for and track their benefits, including Health Source Rhode Island, Medicaid, and SNAP benefits for food. Customers can still go to field offices for help, but now they can also go online to apply for benefits, report changes, view and print notices, and upload documents. Actually, it's going quite well. But on Tuesday, Secretary Elizabeth Roberts also admitted there are minor problems with some employee logins and EBT cards. Those issues have persisted. Customers tell me the problems seem widespread. It's not a good situation in there. On Tuesday, there was a 30% spike in walk-ins to the Pawtucket and Providence field offices, according to data I requested from the state. Hillsource Rhode Island also reported a nearly 30% spike in calls. It's not clear how many people have been affected by the EBT card issues or when the issue will be resolved. It's also worth noting since the online customer portal went live last night, about 1,800 users have logged on to the site. If you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1. Our hotline is 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer, you can call that same number on your screen. I'm Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.